come just a little bit closer and hear what I have to say. Hello, this is Sarah of Water Lily Someone Six, and today I'm doing a curl formers tutorial. I've never done one of these before, so basically these are a different type of curlers. They come with this hook which looks like this, and then the curlers look like this. Um, they're like these wrapped sort of mesh things, which I will demonstrate how to use in a minute. I'm also gonna use these products for the set. I'm gonna use the As I Am Leave-In Conditioner and the Jane Cutter Wrap and Roll, which I did like these two products together. Just a nice soft hold. I'm also gonna use a couple of combs to make sure my hair is fully detangled before I put them in the curlers. And so yeah, we'll go ahead and get started. I'm just taking my hair down from a plop and I braided my hair in four sections after I had tangled it. To kind of just make sure that it was really gonna sort of stay detangled, although it's a little hard for my hair. And then I am just gonna clip up the front one and I'm gonna start with this back section. Sectioning is definitely really helpful when you're putting your hair in curlers. It just makes it easier to manage. And I'm just gonna get it wet again and then I'm going to apply the leave-in conditioner. You can apply any leave-in conditioner, but generally like having your hair moisturized is key for especially drier curly hair. Then I'm gonna apply just like a pump or two of the wrap and roll to the entire section basically. Um, this stuff smelled good and it was just like a nice light little moussey type hold um, and it's specifically made for roller sets so that's why I bought it and I thought it did a pretty good job. So then I'm going to again pick out the piece that I want for my curler and I'm going to make sure it's quite detangled. Um, it just is harder to work with if it isn't detangled. Then next to use the curl formers you take the hook and you put it through the curler like that and then it should look like this. Um, it might take you a couple tries, but that part's pretty easy. Then you take the hook and put it on the top of the hair, and you wanna try and then pull the bottom of the hook out of the curler, and the curl former should stay on your hair. Like such. Um, so it might take a couple tries to get that perfect, so definitely don't be discouraged, um, and just keep your sections clean. Um, make sure they're detangled and you can kind of twist the section at the top and then put it in the hook Which I found definitely helps Sometimes if you don't quite have all the hair in the hook it will snag Just like I'm showing in this clip because I didn't have all the hair inside the hook inside the hole at the top of the hook so you just want to start over if you mess up a section it's totally fine and then you want to twist the top of the little section so it's sort of smaller and all holds together and then just make sure it's inside the hook you can feel with your fingers and then hold onto the curl former with one hand and pull out the hook with the other and your curl former should be close on your head you want to make sure that you're getting them pretty close to the root because um, anything that's outside of the curl former might not get the texture or the curl pattern of the curl former and you can, if they get kind of wonky, you just kind of twirl them till they're the right shape. So I did my whole head, which took a decent while. I think it was like 45 minutes. Um, and I used most of the curl formers in the pack. I think I didn't use like four or six. Um, and that is my whole head done. I tried to alternate the pink and the orange ones because they go different ways. And I also did the ones by my face like one way which was like going away from my face with the pink ones in hindsight I would have just alternated pink and orange across like my entire head but that is my whole head in the curl formers and then next I'm just gonna use my Lila Ali soft bonnet dryer this one is nice and portable and I've had it for a while it still works um, great little dryer for curlers and I'm just gonna put it together it has this big hose thing that the air comes out of and then you hook it into the cap. But before that, I'm gonna put my curl formers into two pigtails with hair ties so I can fit it inside the cap. So here I am just popping the cap on top of my hair and sort of wedging all the curl formers in. And I put the dryer on, I think medium heat and I probably, and I alternate with low. 
and then I probably sat under the dryer for a good hour. I just watched some pole dark on BBC and you want to make sure your hair is 100% dry before you take them out. I'm not content to be second best. Do what you will. That show is so good and it's coming back in the fall. Anyways, I now have my hair all the way dry. So you just pinch the top of the curl former, which I'll show again in a second. So you just pinch at the top and then pull down and the curl kind of pops out. Sometimes it's a little fluffy, so then you just twirl it around a finger and you have these like super uber perfect Shirley Temple curls when they come out. They do carry um, like tighter curl formers and also looser ones if you're interested in that. So this is what my hair looks like when I've taken out all the curl formers and it's a little too Shirley Temple for me. But as you can see, I've got a pretty good set going on. I'm just gonna take some Lily of the Desert aloe gel now and I'm gonna separate the curls. So just take a little something so you don't frizz it up. And I like to start at the top and then just gently pull apart the curl. With these you can pull them apart multiple times, you know, spend as much time separating as you feel like you need to. Um, but I definitely feel like this makes these look a little bit more natural um, and you can get closer to sort of like curling wand curls just by separating. Then I'm going to take some of this Dress Me Perfectly Undone hairspray which is a nice like light to medium hold and I'm just going to spray these so they will last for like a good couple days. I did find that I was able to wear this for about three days. Um, and then by the fourth day like my scalp was done so this is how my curl former set turned out let me know what you guys think um, and whether you've ever done curl formers thanks so much for watching the video and definitely leave any questions below bye